I wonder what do people that listen to my podcast think about something like this I'd really be interested to find out especially those of you who are checking out the show live here via YouTube there's been this update recently um courtesy of the interwebs right of the one known as Aubrey Drake is it Aubrey Drake Graham or whatever his name is right or Drake in general right has been seen recently sporting some nail polish and it's kind of caused a bit of an uproar on the internet, which I don't really know why, because, you know, Drake has been very clear and kind of very honest with kind of who he is, like him or lump him in terms of his personality. But for some reason, a lot of people are surprised or annoyed about, you know, the way he's kind of been running around town lately, wearing that shirt recently about having a hard dick, having that necklace where all the diamonds represented all the girls that he had proposed to over the years. I think it was like 42 or whatever. Loads of stuff that people think, I guess, because of his age that he shouldn't be doing. But I think, you know, he's essentially like a real life um, bachelor, rock star type of dude, leaving, you know, the, living basically his best life, being the number one artist in the world. Um, you know, it's kind of makes sense that he's kind of doing this sort of stuff. I think if you were that person, you'd probably do the same sort of thing too. But the funny thing is now you're seeing like, you know, him taking the final steps, right? Of kind of approaching that, what do you call it? Legendary fuckboy status or whatever that may be, right? By painting his nails now. And a lot of people have had some issues with it. Me personally, the only thing that I have an issue with it is I just think in terms of coolness, this might be the most uncool thing Drake has done in a while. Because I personally think the whole men painting the nails thing as like a fashion statement it's kind of run its course. I think it was all those things because I've, you know, I've done a lot of questionable fashion-y accessory type of things in terms of expressing oneself. But it was only interesting when I was kind of the only person doing it at the time, especially in my area or especially my group of friends or especially in that certain period of time. It was only interesting when I was only doing it. So when I was wearing choker necklaces, that was really cool because I was only one of the few people that were doing it. When I was wearing really big, you know, Berlin techno hoops, that was really cool because I was, I was one of the only people I could see around my area where I was around doing it. When I was wearing big stacky boots and, you know, aggressive fucking ripped jeans and band t-shirts and cutting my hair a certain way listen to certain thing that was all really cool when I was only person sort of doing it at the time when it all became mainstream especially when I think about the stuff that kids are doing now in terms of wearing chokers in terms of wearing pearls in terms of wearing crop tops in terms of wearing nail polish now it's kind of been tiktokified it just isn't cool anymore it looks a little bit lame like even if a kid that was 22 now suddenly started painting their nails I still think you look a bit corny you look like you missed the boat, like you missed the boat, like maybe three or four years ago. The same thing that, you know, people look at when people criticize guys like Machine Gun Kelly, right? There was a period of time where Machine Gun Kelly just suddenly popped out and he kind of looked like a pop, pop punk kid out of the blue. It was never like a steady progression. And I think with Drake, it's sort of like the same sort of thing. It's like not the coolest thing to do, but it's also clearly, I think more so evidence of him maybe just becoming more comfortable with himself like he's willing to just do shit for the sake of doing it because he just likes it and i think that also in a weird way because i'm going to double speak here that also is maybe the coolest thing to actually do stuff because you just want to do it not knowing full well most people are going to look at you and think that's not the coolest thing to do it looks a bit lame but just because you know what fuck it why not and personally in terms of optics I love the duality and the contrast between wearing a state property, you know, romper, onesie, whatever he's got on here, an oversized shirt and having the nails done in painted yellow. I think that's incredible. That, 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 that friction going on between those two opposing kind of like trends and motifs and what they represent to the culture and stuff is fucking amazing. Like the number one rapper, the number one hip hop artist in the world wearing a state property shirt, a group, you know, known for fucking being the fucking, you know, realist people out there in terms of, you know, what they rapped about and living their raps and then painting your nails. Like I think that duality is fucking incredible. But it's also just funny because if you look deep at it, and this other picture here, on the on the left hand side, so he's got all these nails are painted yellow. But then on the left hand side, he's got his finger that would be his ring finger, right? That's the funny thing. The finger that would be his ring finger is painted blue. <laughs> obviously maybe to symbolize you know love and engagement and shit like you know just regular things that you would imagine 
a mixed race guy would love, right? Like mixed race boys, especially in London, they love baby blue. They love being sweet boys. And he has that kind of element about him, right? The massive diamonds in his ears, um, the kind of bees at the end of his fucking braids. And then the little blue hit here on his wedding band finger. That's the only thing that's funny. But if it was me and I was going to go about, you know, um, getting my nails polished, actually, getting my nails colored with nail polish, the only thing that I would contemplate comp- contemplate doing is maybe getting like a particular nail done like maybe getting the thumb and the pinky or something but i think the idea of having like a full set painted nowadays is just a little bit naff a little bit lame i used to do that i don't know maybe like five to six seven years ago i think you could see other episodes of the axion zinga show where I used to do it, like usually on my way out, sometimes wearing my fucking cut off band t shirts. And you can see why I move my hands around. I've got my nails polished, but it was never really that big of a deal. It was just a sort of lifestyle that I was kind of living at the time. But I did that a long, long time ago. But I would never kind of now start doing it now because it become in trend again. It just feels a little bit redacted, a little bit lame. Another thing I thought as well that kind of hurts him in this respect might be the fact that his nail shape is a little bit small, isn't it? He's got like really small hands. And his nails seem to be really small. So I don't know what that what that bit of your nail is called. Is it the cuticle? I don't know. what, what Whatever the, the, the nail size of it is called, right? It's just a bit small and dainty looking. So when you paint it, it kind of just highlights how small your nails look and how small your hands look. And it also puts a lot of like attention onto your hands. And one thing I've noticed over the years, if you look at Drake's fucking hands, like he's got the hands of somebody that's a multi-millionaire going to be a billionaire he's got billionaire hands his hands look like he has never done a hard day's work in his entire life like his hands look fucking buttery soft like it's insane how lovely his hands look and it's funny because he's got the complete opposite of my hands where my hands are like are fucking huge and covered in fucking callus calluses from fucking weightlifting and just being a fucking animal and touching shit and falling over and skating and playing football like my hands are just covered in scars and dents and all this sort of shit right and drake's hands i legitimately legitimately look soft they look baby soft legitimately so that contrast of having your nails done and having really soft dainty hands as a man it just kind of makes it look a bit funny but i also like i said rate the confidence to do it now because the nail polish thing i think is kind of dusted similar to wearing like chokers similar to wearing crop tops as a dude that kind of whole thing is a bit done for but the fact that he's doing it now is also a little bit cool because he's just doing it because he loves it but because if you scroll back up towards the top here, you've got here a picture of him with two hands. you got here a picture of like various people in hip hop, NBA young boy here on one side and ASAP Rocky on the other side were doing their nails. And I think the, the ASAP Rocky side of doing his nails where he uses his nails as like a canvas to have like different bits of art painted on them or whatever they do. That's pretty cool. I still wouldn't do it. Again, I purposely would be at probably the pinky done and maybe a thumb or maybe get the whatever, just two fingers. I don't know, there's something really cool about having like two fingers done really well or something. The idea of like doing it all, all over your fingers is a little bit, I don't know, a little bit infantile, a little bit kiddish. But again, NBA young boy is fairly young. I think he might be under 25 years old. So that makes complete sense. And he also comes from a particular, you know, a whole different type of upbringing. So him kind of embracing that side of things is a bit, you know, it, it has a different sort of meaning towards it. But I think the rest of it is just, I don't know. There's something just ultimately, I think, lame about it, in my opinion. There's just something kind of lame about it now. It kind of has gone a bit too pop. It's gone a bit too TikTokified. But it's just hilarious to the optics of Zach seeing like a, what's Drake now? A 35-year-old man, maybe more than that, like, you know, decide to paint their nails um and go that kind of route and who knows who do we have to blame do we have to like i said in the title here do we have to blame little yatty or do we just you know let the guy live and let him enjoy everything and do what he's doing because that is you know one of the things that you should be doing if you've got fuck you money you should be living life exactly as you choose to live life and not you know being bothered about what some random people on the internet think about you and stuff you should be living it exactly how you want to live it so maybe drake is living his truth and doing his thing and we're just absolute haters we're just absolute haters. I don't know. I don't bloody know.